Let's do a hands-on on Apache Kafka. We will create a topic in Kafka, push messages to that topic, and run the Kafka consumer, which will consume the messages from the topic. Open the gist in a new tab. Log in to Web Console and include Kafka binary in the path. Copy the command from the gist and paste it on the web console followed by enter. As you can see, kafka-topics.sh, kafka-console-producer.sh and kafka-console-consumer.sh are now available. kafka-topics.sh provides options to create, delete and list topics. Let us create a topic with the your Cloudex Lab username. Copy the command highlighted in the gist. Replace localhost with the host name of the node where Zookeeper server is running. We can see the list of nodes where Zookeeper server is running using Ambari. Log into Ambari, click on Zookeeper, and click on one of the links to find out the host name of the node. As you can see that Zookeeper server is running on IP-172-31-2022. Internal. Replace localhost with IP-172-31-20-2022. EC2 dot internal. Also, replace test with your topic name. Note that Zookeeper helps in discovering the Kafka brokers. One of the discovered brokers will be used to create the topic. Press enter to run the command. If the topic already exists, it would throw an error. Let us check if topic got created. Copy the command highlighted in the gist. Replace localhost with Zookeeper server hostname. We can see that topic is created. Let us push some messages to this topic. Kafka-console-producer.sh script lets us push messages to Kafka topic. Copy the command highlighted in the gist. For pushing the data, we specify the host name of any of the nodes where Kafka is installed. We can find it using Zookeeper client. Log into the web console in the new tab, type Zookeeper dash client and press enter. On the Zookeeper prompt, type ls space slash brokers slash IDs to get the list of IDs of Kafka brokers. We can use any of the brokers from this list. Let us find the details of the broker with id equals to type cat space slash brokers slash ids slash two copy the host name of the broker and replace it with localhost replace test with your own topic name Now run the producer and push some messages to the topic. Let us see if the producer is working. Log into web console in another terminal and include Kafka binaries in the path. Kafka-console-consumer.sh Let us consume messages from Kafka topic. Now. Run the Kafka consumer. Copy the command highlighted in the gist. 
replace localhost with the host name of the node where zookeeper server is running. Also, replace test with your topic name. Press enter. As you can see, we are able to consume messages from Kafka topic. Let us push a lot of messages to the topics and consume them. In Linux, yes command outputs y forever. Type yes in the console and you can see y gets printed on the screen forever. Type the command highlighted in the gist to push a lot of y's to the topic. Replace localhost with zookeeper server hostname and test with your topic name. And press enter. A switch to the console where consumer is running and you can see the consumed messages on the screen. Let us stop the producer with pressing Ctrl C.